Hello, what's up YouTube? This is Brio Station here and this is going to be the second episode of Zombie 100 Bucket List of the Dead. Alright, so first episode was one hell of a banger. I you know I will apologize, I wish I could be a little bit more, you know, enthusiastic a little bit more physically vibrant, enthusiastic about things. But the thing is I wanna keep it honest too. I can't I'm I don't have with all my years of watching, I, I don't have that sort of energy. But well, I'm not saying like I, I'm not in. I'm not into it. It's just more like, oh, it's just kind of when you watch a lot of things, you don't, you don't, you're not as riled up as it to it as you are. And maybe it's just because of more how kind of I will. I'm gonna admit, maybe I'm a little bit more emotionally detached than I'm supposed to be, which is I, I can understand as a cause of concern because I don't like I'm, I'm not gonna try to get emotional over everything. Of course, I'm more of the opposite. But I do. I will try, man. So, just just to let y'all know, I mean, so apologies if it is off. It's off putting to anyone. So, of course, still, I don't remember so that much because again, I had I. It's been a while since I've actually read the manga, and there was like, I think it's 55 chapters out. Which is the same thing, which is funny enough, 55 chapters out for Tengu with Diamond Monk Hero as well, and, that, and that, that's it, in, that, in terms of the official translation. I do not know if there's any new ones that are in the raw right now, but yeah, that's what kind of stuff. And funny enough, both series are getting nice looking production so far. I mean, well, we'll have to see if this holds up, because I heard this was an outsourced episode. Well, not really an outsourced episode, but it's kind of like some credits were... Some people, like an outside studio, was given production credits as well, or at least assisting. I'm not so sure. I mean, there's a lot of mixed uh, info I'm getting, uh, messages I'm getting. So when it sorts out, it sorts out. I'll, I'll try to look into that more. Anyways, but yeah, um, our guy here, Akira Tendo, and he, he's having the worst. He's having the worst experience of his life, and in, in, in a as a salary man. With, where, where the workers are all expo are all being exploited during this overtime it looks like shit that should be illegal but you know whatever it is this is Japanese work culture and the very co-worker he has a fondness for turns out to be someone's mistress and it just all looks bleak to him everything's just black and white it just looks like everything's just black and white all of a sudden it starts turning color I like how it slowly turns color like the color starts off with the bleed, with all the paint, maybe paint looking blood of the zombies. And then like, uh, and then he starts seeing his cut. And, and that's where, you know, he starts seeing the color. Like if it was your life breeding him again, which is funny enough that it took a zombie apocalypse, like an undead apocalypse, where it was technically, where it was technically dead thing, well, undead things, not alive or dead, but, but, uh, that's where it, that, that that took that was what breathed life into him once again into his vision, and he sees everything in color. And what I what I missed or didn't bring up was when he was like, "I did it." He broke through the he broke through the cinematic black bars in the, on the at the top and the bottom, which was actually fucking nice, by the way. There's another way to use. 86 did it. It did it well, but I think this one just took it to a whole other level to where it was like literally just like a breaking of the fourth wall. Like it's literally not just just this black and white movie that he's just being played out like so. Like that. And the the thing that what I liked at least from the in the get go what this episode is trying to what this series is tackling is like if y'all just working like that just every day every time. And then I get it. It's a routine thing, and it's not like we're. It's not like we're obligated to just try to do every, do things differently when we're not, you know, when we don't when we don't feel obliged to. But it's just like if you're just kind of just going through the motions like that, just like just not even just slaving away like that. Are you no better than zombies? Are you basically kind of more or less like zombies? So then the zombie apocalypse hits, and then like all this, and then all of a sudden, ironically, he hit. His life living up because like, oh shit, I don't gotta work anymore. Now what? Check off a list like, I'm probably gonna die at some point, but you know what? I'm gonna check, a, I'm gonna give myself a list of what I wanna do before I die. 
fuck a bitch, like what fuck a bitch, go go to the zoo, go to go to you know, travel, go on a boat, go to a car, whatever. Whatever whatever he wants to do. We'll see. I have no I now here's the thing. I I I don't remember anything from the start. I actually don't remember I barely remember shit from the mark. So yeah. That's good that's good enough. I mean so trying to put that into mind. Please don't clap me like I, I forgot so, if I forget anything because I like I barely I don't remember anything. Like the only thing I really remember is where it does fall off, but that's like in the later half. But no, let's just see how this goes. Um, maybe though, maybe Emma will rework it to where it's a lot more engage, engaging for its medium. So I mean, I'll, I'll trust in that. I'll trust that it have ma the magic for that. I mean, even as dusted as the TV industry is right now, there's still the st there's still passion in it, and I hope Zombie's gonna be continue to be one of them. But yeah, let me let's just open this up anyways. Episode uh, that that pull up the right episode. Hold on. Uh, yeah. Okay, I did. So yeah, episode two. Um, alright. Alright then. I think we're ready to go. Episode 2 in 3, 2, 1. Let's jam. Those are not good. Those are not good ear pickers, by the way. Yeah, he's dreaming. Is he still being tra he's still being traumatized? Yeah. He's still kind of dreaming. Oh, he just went, he just kind of involuntary work, went back home. I thought he would just. Yeah, I like how he says that while wow, there's zombies outside. Oh, yeah. Oh, who that? Oh, yeah? Yeah, fucking Nobunaga. Oh, wow. Okay. The, the song is all right. Um, of course, I'm not fond of them reusing scenes from the previous, from the first episode. I do hope they, my hope is they change it, is they change it later on. Like probably, they probably don't have the time. I mean, OPs do change. They, they can change over, you know, with, with uh, on set episodes. Three years worth of cleaning. Done in one day, done within hours. Oh yeah, he, he because he never had time to get it cleaning because he always had to keep going to work. 
beer. Drinking it all in the morning. Enjoy your. <laughs> that's, that, that's, that's funny. That's funny considering the situation she's in. There is heaven. There is heaven. There's a heaven anime and a hell anime, and then there now is a heaven and hell anime. Well, this is still more lo more so hell. Them just trying to ruin the report to the last moment, even if it's a the end of your, even if you know your life going in there. <laughs> oh, nice flowers. You just hope it doesn't turn into some convoluted plot. Too much of a convoluted plot. That's what I don't like. That's what I wouldn't like. Oh yeah, he got no food. Time to raid the shops. <laughs> what is he doing that for? Like, it's gonna do solve anything. A beer, but oh yeah, he thinks he could just stay. With well, I don't think it should be. Uh... All for the beer, all for the booze. Uh, uh, where do you start, though? <laughs> That's so bad. He's just like, oh, we're gonna. Wait, what the fuck? Oh, so he's just he's just gonna go pole. He's just gonna go down poles out. You what? Are you a fire? What are you a firefighter? No, no, I'm gonna go go get some drinks. He's just saying it's so casual. He's just like, whoa. I'm like, boy, there's zombies down there. And the, the nice thing is that he wouldn't normally be interacting this fun, this warmly like that if it wasn't for the for the alt. Oh, if it wasn't for what's going on. He would just pass by them without even know without even a word. Without even noticing them. Yeah, I just is he gonna actually? Oh, who this? Oh, there's one from the. Oh, it's a girl from the opening. 
Oh, damn. I don't think she even cares. Is she in a... Why is she wearing tight? Is I is this literally the only thing she ha she has to wear? I wouldn't be surprised, honestly. Soft. Not much of a talker. Huh? Just to buy that. No, there's one. This is funny. There's one. There's we got a character who is just living. Who is just living it all like for no reason. Who just living without much worries. And there's one who is always trying to. Who is always on alert and trying to be prepared. No, oh, she got this. Oh, never mind. The truck can got it. Well, then that's quite the position we're in. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to say anything. And she's just... No, my bike! Oh, yeah? They analyze risks, huh? I mean, it's not like the RPG where you get to respawn, though. Once you're dead, you're dead. Pretty sure you will. I borrow a bike, find a bike. Oh, never mind. Someone left the keys. It's not a motorcycle, but it will do. They just. This is, did everyone just happen to leave their keys with the in the damn scooters in that one in the in all during that timing? Yeah, motorcycle. Runs out of fuel. Psst. Ah, fuck. <laughs> oh, and you can do that for points. Not fond of CG, but I like this, the smoke effects. <laughs> Bro, what do you gotta get to eat then? You literally have nothing else in there. No, they got, they already got clapped. Yep. I figured they just meet them and then like the next day they're just gone. They're already in a di in, they're already in like a bad position when they when they when they met. For me, it will start to occur to them like, yeah, this is a dangerous situation, and you'll have to think about what are the actual priorities. I don't think you can live your. I don't think you live a full, live just on beer alone at this point.
that is sadly true. But so in this situation, how much of that you really want to prioritize of what you want to do? Yeah, that, is, that you know, it's true and kind of not true. Yeah, I was one of those kids that used to want to be a fucking firefighter, astronaut, doctor, lawyer, you name it. Thought those were fun shit, and then I learned about the details of that. I was like, you know what? Never mind. I don't know yet. Well, so we have to make like 100 trial dreadlocks? Wine and dine? I thought it was driving down. Never mind. Ryan RV, go stay at home. Well, I think you got that covered. I hope they're translating it right, by the way. I'm just reading off what, what the subtitles say. Yeah, you need 70 more. Did you want to do flashback? Is it something regarding his late his late dad or something? Well, home spent. Oh, oh, he's thinking about his dad. His parents, yeah. That's why. That's why he said. That's why he was younger. Beat the one of my dreams. You know, man, buddy. I think you're gonna be able to achieve achieve at least up to those. I don't know about. I don't know about the fifty or so. The rest fifty or so. He's gonna make them up more as he goes. No, that's her. That... Oh, she. Oh, she does morning run every day. She. She. There's a different way of going. She's. There's a different way she's going about things compared to what, what our guy does. Of course. Hopefully, we'll get more from her. A little bit more from her point of view. I mean, that, that's what I hope the anime would do. Yeah, all these fucking sub. <laughs> and she's one of those. I just like the compare and contrasting with the without the two. Go go about with things. Minimize sugar intake. Yeah, wow. Okay, we yeah, are super detailed and shit. Is that a prisoner? Yeah, never mind. <laughs> That's just a movie. Why do you always get debated by these fucking movies, man? Slow and fast zombies.
bro. She got all the time. She's literally just thinking about things with the other guy. It's just. Salad chick. You could splurge a bit. I think. You don't need to pay for it, by the way. <laughs> Who is there to pay for now? Oh, okay. Yeah, that's this is this is during the same day. Just doing it in a kind of an E6 way where like, oh yeah, let's backtrack. This is this is literally the same day. Okay, so that's how she would, because of how she was calculating, she, that's probably when she would figure the truck was going to come in. And if you could talk with them about what ha what how how things were before then, maybe you will you get something. You also just want to know like how she was living before all this. Oh yeah, that's what she saw. That's why she was flipping there. There was like, she was not interested in getting contact info. She just was always just looking at the, looking at the screen for any, for any, for any intel with the cameras. And that's what she was able to say. Oh, she didn't. Ex That's a very, so that's a, a really useful way of conserving, conserving and reusing thing, reusing scenes. Without having it too redundant, it's just like, yeah, that's how it played out from her, from her point of view. I guess. Brain Hunter Z. What are with these references, man? The fucking Terminator, Terminator films everywhere. When they meet again, there's going to be quite the end. There's going to be more quite how they influence each other. Well, she will loosen up. Well, you know, he he will start to you will be will take a little more seriously while she may be able to loosen up. I mean, that's the that's what I would hope that 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 sort of dynamic will end up going. One, she got one. There's like they both got 100 things to do, and oh, nice help. She wants one of the things. One of the things uh, is to avoid becoming a zombie, and he got one of the things to do before he die. You know, before he dies. Why is she the only one that's facing the camera? They look like but they look like good but you know the best of buddies. Want to see how that plays out? I mean, regardless of how disastrous it turns out to be.
this is the straw this is the this is the other this is the this is the other side story of Tengu Good Daimakyo, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. But anyway. Right, right. <laughs> um good episode. Um not fantastic or anything. I mean I will say like the uh the, I mean I know there's CG and all, but it is what it is. I won't I'm not gonna dive further into that. Um the the episode holds up well. It's not as blowing out as the first one, of course. I mean, of course, it's that that first episode really has to get you grasping, get you hooked in. Everything else needs to try to kind of get a build a build up of sorts. Um, I think uh, this one, this one does a fine job of do of getting thing, of, of you know, getting us into play, like you know, letting us know how things are. Uh, I do like how the girl. I, what was her name again? What was her name? Let me let me see again. Uh, she's Shizuka Mizuzuki, and uh, Shizuka. Well, I don't. I I think they probably reveal the name, but she looks. She's like the the literal op. She's literal in terms of what her mentality is right now. She's a little opposite. So it makes me wonder. So it makes you wonder. I don't remember. It makes you wonder, like, how she was living before that. Was she living, uh, was, like, was it, was it also the opposite of what Akira was doing? Where she was living a very pleasant, a very, very, very pleasant life, a very carefree life or something like that, where she didn't have to worry as much, but then the zombie happened and then she was put into this situation. From the looks of what the, her, her resonance are, she may or may not have been, um, she may or may not, you know, have like ties to like a very rich family. But Akira himself, like, was well, just kind of like a silent man just living alone and barely making it through, and was almost turning to a mental zombie himself at one point. That's why it's kind of funny. Like he just is just like he's not really caring that much because he was almost more metaphorically a zombie himself, and now he's just like. That's why he's not really. Not, that's why he doesn't have these sort of high priorities. There's a good sense of parallelism with what, how Akira views and handles things compared to how Shizuka views and handles things. And when the way it's the way the meeting starts out, it does can seem kind of off. Like, oh, she's just that little hot character that doesn't have much personality. And but no, the episode just kind of like a little bit halfway. They cut. They actually cut to her. Um. I was I was not sure they didn't like um they didn't immediately it didn't immediately click with me that it was in the same day same day that it was during the same day like during the same time uh I should have said same time my bad I should, instead of just same day and make it too vague but yeah it was basically the same around the same time that what what that got what our, our guy Arthur was going through and of course like how the way she goes about with that day more or less contrast how he is like she got like what was this what was that what was that list called um one of the things to do to avoid 100 things to do to avoid becoming a zombie and the and on the other hand um Okay, so it was a little halfway, but uh, hold on. Well, one of the things one want to do before becoming a zombie <laughs> It's so comparing and contrast. Look, it's before becoming a zombie. I did say like before he dies, he would technically be dead once he becomes a zombie. So okay, but yeah, it, it's funny how those things are just comparing and contrasting. But then when they when you know when they meet again, it's already kind of happening. 
It's already kind of happening. We're start. The other is like you're starting to rub off. Like he's thinking about a prior, a, you know, actual priorities. While she's, or who's already prioritized, is just like, oh, maybe there's some things I can have luxury with, like things I just actually want to do instead of need to do. There's a thing of be of what you. There's a distinction of what this series seems to, or at least this episode is seemingly trying to aim for. It's what you want to do versus what you need to do, and then vice versa, whatever. And the thing is with life, I'm not, and I'm not the, I'm not the expert. I'm not an expert on how you should spend that. That that's not. I'm the last one. I'm the last people. It's just like my personal thing is that. Depending on who, uh, how you live your life, what kind of person you are, what kind of abilities you are, what kind of traits you have, you know, how the upbringing, whatever, whatnot. You, there's a little bit of both. There's a little bit of both that you want to, uh, and you just want to balance them. You don't want too much of what you want to do or too much of what you want to need to do. Well, of course, there's th- of course necessities are necessities, but you also have to take consider, like, if you just focus on that, if you don't get to do th- if you don't do things that you want to do then the things that you need to do become harder to do because you're just not mentally motivated to do those because of that so that's why that you know F- that's why uh them when they meet again like it's gonna open things up and make a dynamic relationship and then there'll be two other characters that will be added to the mix as well their how their personalities are gonna add up I want, I'm curious to see how that plays out but yeah, it, the episode uh, production-wise, it's fine. It's not up to par as the crazy first episode. Obviously, uh, the opening was all. The opening was okay. I I wasn't fond of it. I, I'm I'm sorry. It's just that because they, they reuse scenes from the first episode, so I'm just like, eh, I'm not feeling it. I I hope it's one of those moments where um they reuse the they they will put in new scenes a little later. But I, that's just me hope. That's just my coping at this point. But other than that, it's a good, it's a, it's a, it's a fun episode. Not, not of course, of course not. Not it doesn't have the bang, the shebang. And I do want to see like can it hold up before? Like I don't want the fun to peter out. I don't want stuff to get too stupid or like where I'm just like I'm losing this. You know, Voshin or Ko, If you say you lost it, then you probably won't even try and even watch it to be trying to watch or understand things to begin with so i'm trying to interpret it here but it's just like if it doesn't meet up to standards like it's not like it goes in somewhere like i feel like isn't what i consider necessary or i feel like it hinders it too much or like it's not executed well then i will have a problem with that but we'll say down the stretch again I read. I know I read the manga, but it's been a while. It's been a while, okay. So it, it, a long while, actually. So I barely remember anything, to to be frank. Actually, I barely like. I only remember certain things of where it fell off, and that's about it. Where they just had like this this a little bit too much convolution now. Stretch there's this big bad villain, but. I don't know if the anime, where the anime is going to reach that, like, uh, maybe the anime will do it in a way, like, I don't know how long, much it's going to adapt to that point, but we'll see. I'm going to hold for, I'm just going to hold the judgment for anime, for just anime-wise. Like, I want to do this distinct separation in the end. Like, yeah, there's there's time where you have to correlate anime with source material, but there's still their distinct materials. There's a, t- there's, dep- it depends, it's not like a black and white sort of thing when it comes to comparison of mediums but that'll, that'll do it smash the like button let me know what you think in the comments below how you feel about this episode was it good was it bad like all this good stuff like anything i missed like don't spoil please like i i but like i know i read the manga but like i rather want to be a, a revisit on that before like i feel like i can i feel like i can get a better grasp on things also follow me on Twitter, support the Discord channel, uh, share this video around, support the channel, like do all this, subscribe, all that good stuff. But I'll do it, yeah. And yeah, we got new, yeah, we got new girl right here. Uh, what's her name? She's a girl. Yeah, she good. She good. She really good.
All right, that's about to do it. Great station signing off. See you next time. Take care. Stay safe. Have a great day, y'all. Peace.